Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am lucky enough to be shooting from this awesome A-frame in upstate New York. And I am literally gonna be sorting by the fireside, so that'll be pretty cool. I have a new set. It's a pre-owned set of a Hogwarts castle. And I've done some pre-sorting with other colors, but I do have an awful lot of sand colored Lego that I have to sort. So I figured I would do that with you today. I washed the whole lot. It came in one bag and the previous owner was kind enough to um, separate it all out for me. So I gave it a, a quick wash. Um, I can share that process in a different video, but it's set 4842 from 2011 and it's a beautiful um, castle build with the um, sand green tops like I was hoping for. And from doing the washing, all the little min all the little details and pieces of food and um, dining wear fall to the bottom. So I got to see a lot of the really cool details that come in it. So I'm very excited about the build, but the sort needs to happen first. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, thank you for watching and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will be on our way. Okay, first of all, I wanna say, there is no correct way to sort. Everyone's brain works differently, and I think it's logical, and I think that most of us process by sorting by color first instead of by shape. So I'm talking about the in my Lego studio where I have tens of thousands of pieces sorted. That's an extensive sort by color and by piece. But for this sort, I like using these round veggie trays, really. I can't tell you exactly what each tray is going to hold, different for each sort, but things pop out at me, and I will talk you through it as I do it. There's no right or wrong. The sound of recess. So I can just tell I'm going to start grabbing bricks. They're big. Get them out of the way. Something like this. And I'm putting them off to the side. And then like wall builders. I can do it with two hands. So I can do wall builders and bricks with one hand. Bricks with the other hand. comfortable. See, so now that I'm doing this, I'm starting to find like lots of archways. So might as well. And I'm just kind of pushing them off to the corner here. Now I actually like this table because it has edges on it and I'm doing the same now with plates. So I'm not wasting any of my pushing around. My pushing around is going around, going somewhere. No matter what I'm doing, I'm actually getting the big stuff out first. Like that's a biggie. Back to that. Wall builder, wall builder, wall builder. We're all just gonna go over here. Here, over here. Now I'm switching to arches for a second because I'm seeing a few sticking out. Another big, big piece. Arches, some more arches showing up. And the more that I get, another big plate like that shows up. And now I'm going on and I'm finding a lot of these specialty um, bumpy. And I know I'm gonna have to specifically see those when I'm um, building. I'm gonna be hunting for these. So I'm just gonna keep, it's pretty obvious now that the big pieces are out. So 
now I'm going to get this order for those. Now I'm going to start sorting because I have my, my empty room is getting full. And just move things around. Sometimes when you move things around, now I'm seeing a ton of two by twos. So I'm going to use two hands. My mom always used to tease me about that. You have two hands here. Use them both. Emptying the dishwasher or something like that. And I'm going to put those all in the middle too. So this is probably, I would say, um, and I can grab like five and a handful of advice. You know, if I, and that's good, because that saves me a lot of, I don't want to individually pick these up. I want to kind of get them all together and then just scoop them. And that's what the nice part of the edge on this table is, is that you can do that. You know, you can scoop them. Um, and now that I start getting rid of some of those littler ones, I see some of the big ones coming out again, and I see some of the bumped two by, I don't know the right word for that. Maybe somebody could leave them in the comments. Here are these. Harry Potter seems to use them a lot. City too. They're the pieces that, they're like bumps. They make logs and things like that. And then I'm gonna separate it out. All right, so I'm looking at this and I'm seeing a ton of circles. So I'm just gonna start taking anything that's circular. And there's another big tie. Anything that's circular. And like I said, I don't, I mean, the beautiful thing about this is that a lot of the small pieces come up or go through when you wash them they separate right out and a lot of the big pieces separate right out too because they are um, they float to the top with the plates so that was ideal and I will do that again for any um, sets that I get that are pre-owned okay so now some archways are showing up some wall builders are showing up a lot of wall builders are showing up actually. Some archways are thrown over there. Um, so, you know, I kind of use the sliding and, the, you know, I use a combination of techniques. Let's just put it that way. And now I'm back to those twos again because I know I'm gonna be searching for those twos. Looks like there's a ton of them in this set. And you know, it's not like I'm separating out twos all by themselves. What I mean by twos are one by two blocks. But I'm mixing in the smooths with the bumpies. So, you know, I just, I just don't know how much space I'm gonna have in this sorter. But it's turning out that I have a, quite a bit of space in this sorter, which is so weird because I'll share the other sorts that I did last night with the other quarter colors and um, a lot less Lego, but more variety. Wall builder, wall builder, wall builder, wall builder. Okay, and hardly any place. That's interesting. All right, so I'm still doing twos. Might as well do threes as well because they're still here, twos and threes. Put them all in there, put the laundry ones over here. And I think that this color should just be called tan, um, but I mixed it in just because there was hardly any, and I figured it's not a big deal. Um, let's 
circles, more of those DVDs, blocks, corners, which I'm gonna want corners. I don't know how many there are. Wall builders, archways. Now, what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna start putting these threes in two locations, you know what I mean? One by threes in two locations, because that just complicates things. So I have to decide, are they gonna be with the blocks, or are they gonna be with the, you know, in the center? When you start mixing your categories, that's when it starts backfiring on you. So if I'm gonna do wall builders, I gotta put everything that's a wall builder over there and stay tr true to the sort, I call it. Stay true to the sort. Um, so if I decided to put all one by two, smooth and bumpy in that center, then that's where they should all go for the system to work. Then things start showing up. So, a lot of things. I mean, still getting those twos. So, twos. My friend, I'm sad. You two hands. Now see all the corners start appearing. Oh, yay. I was going to say, I need to have some corners. Okay, got to turn around somewhere. And that's a specialty piece. That's a specialty piece. There's a corner. Okay, I'm going to pause right there for a second. Okay, so our pile has gotten a lot smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer some of this stuff so I can have more workspace. So these were our blocks that were separated out. Oh, it's gonna take this up pretty good. These are our arches. Wow, quite a few of them. These were our wall builders. Okay, so now I have just these, this, I like these, I think of these as like the itty bitties. I wanna go through this. And I still have some things that are, you know, going on here. So, um, slopes. Roofs, really, you know, slants, roofs, call them what you will. I'm just going to put uh, anything that is a slanted piece, because I haven't done that. Ramps, slopes, roofs, etc. I'm just going to quick go through and do a quick search on that. Quick sort on that. Um, There's a block that got in there. Ramps, ramps. And then, and then onesies. I call onesies, I don't know, whatever. Anything that's, like I can scoop up five of them in that hand. Anything that's a one, one brick, that takes up the room of a one brick. So I'm not talking about plates, I'm talking about blocks. And they can be specialty as well. Like, um, so anything that it's a single, like this stuff, I separate those out. 
In fact, I have a whole bin of onesies. So if I need a onesie, I go to this bin. And they're easy enough to just pull out by color because I'm not going to be sorting all those out. Even the studs I'll put in there. I call them studs. I don't know what other people call them. Okay, so you know, I'm doing a multitude. I'm kind of doing the stuff that I missed. It's still going over there. Ramps, new ramps. That's new stuff that I'm collecting. You know, you just kind of go on and on and on forever. Multitasking. All right, so then now I see all the snot coming up because I'm doing ramps and the snot is opposite of the ramps. So that shows up. I don't know why it's called snot. I've always wanted to know why it was called snot, separating that out. But um, ramps. in here. Sorting takes time, but it's an important part. And you know what? I actually like it. It's so weird. Um, I do. I like it. And when you, you you're either going to do it on this end or you're going to do it on the other end. So you're going to have a happy build if you do the sorting now. Or, um, now I'm into Technic stuff. So you're going to, you know, you're going to do the building now. You're going to do the sorting now, or you're going to do it later. I mean, one way or another, you have to do it unless it's a new build and they give it to you piece by piece. So this is kind of like the disadvantage of, um, getting an older build. But, you know, if there's... I love some of this older builds are really, 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 really special. And I think this is going to be one. Just by seeing all the little itty bitty things that fell out of it. These are specialty pieces. I'm going to put them in here because that's their color. Okay. And I think we're done with our sort. I mean, we're very, very close. Yeah, about 15 minutes to make that sort. So if you have been following me i am building a harry potter layout this castle isn't going to be an important part of it so if you would like to know more about my harry potter layout go ahead and hit this card here thank you for joining me at the a-frame today it's kind of special that i was able to be here and do this sort with you. Go ahead and push that subscribe button. All right. Have a great day. And as always, happy Legoing.